Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Um, I hope you all are doing well and having a wonderful day. Um, I've had a really busy week. Uh, it's been a good week, been a busy week. And um, <clears throat> I've been wanting to do this Happy Mail for quite some time. This is Happy Mail from my sweet friend Renee over at Renee's At It Again. And if you guys don't know her, I will link her channel. Um, she is awesome. She has become an awesome friend. And she is always, always sending me um, just the neatest things. And I've bought, I've purchased several kits from her in the past. And she's still doing some really cool stuff on her YouTube channel right now. And still has some really neat stuff in her Etsy shop. She has some really cool tins um, full of goodies. And um, I just, I love her style. She is a collector of things. She doesn't make journals, but she's a collector. And she started doing this years ago um, before this really got uh, much bigger. And in, in my opinion, this community just keeps growing and growing and growing. And I think it's awesome. Um, it really is an awesome community. And thank you, Renee. You are so, so generous. Um, so I'm going to share, I'll put her link, link to her YouTube and her shop in the description box, but I'm going to share these awesome goodies that she sent me. And I, um, went to a little thrift store in the Goodwill yesterday. I had some time to kill after I finished up a meeting, um, before I picked up my granddaughter. So, um, wasn't intended on buying anything, but I found a few items. I'm going to share those. <clears throat> so, um, anyway, so she sent me a really nice little note. I'm going to set that aside and that'll go. I keep all the notes and I'll stick them in my journals. And there's this little, um, this little notebook in here that she sent me. I'm not going to open up. This is a plain little notebook with some really neat paper in it. So she sent me that. And then this little, this little tiny one. Um, I hadn't even opened. I did open this box and stuff, and I did go through it because, you know, if y'all know me, y'all know how I am. I'm not one to wait. Um, but this really cute little, this really cute little notebook that somebody um, made out of fabric. It's like a felt fabric with all these little neat papers. So these, these two will probably go in my bag um, for work, and I can make notes on them and things like that. So thank you, Renee. And then this really cool uh, tram. I did not bring a pair of scissors in here with me, did I? No, I sure did not. Um, let me take this off. She sent me two, two rolls of this ribbon. Look at this with the little horses. Isn't that adorable? So that would be absolutely adorable in baby books. So there's two of those. She sent me two of those. And a couple of patterns, which I absolutely love. She knows I love the kids' patterns. So, um, and I will pick these up whenever I find them for a good deal or if I find the ones that I really, really like. I remember, I can actually remember um, wearing tops like these. I remember my aunt and my mother making those for me when I was little. So, that's really neat. I might save that and put it in my journal. Um, I wish I had, I wish I had some pictures of those things of when we were little. We just didn't have as many photographs taken of us when we were little. Um, I mean, I have some, but and then she sent me these awesome books. Um, this one is absolutely adorable. It's called A Good Good Morning. And it is a, it was already coming apart. It's already out of the books. This was 1963. Um... Written and illustrated by Bonnie and Bill Rutherford, Whitman Publishing. But look, look at these, and the pages are that nice matte thick paper. Look at her little room. That's so cute. I love the colors in this little book. Um, this would be one I'd recommend if you love the children's book. Maybe try to find a copy of this because it's super adorable. Um, yeah, just really cute. This reminds me of Peyton. <laughs> this reminds me of my granddaughter, Peyton. My oldest granddaughter, who she loves kitty cats. She loves any animals, but she loves kitty cats. And she has two. 
um, two cats. And she's the one that rides horses. She loves, she loves horses. And uh, all my kids, they love to be outside. They love the outdoors, which I'm very grateful for. Um, all my grandkids do. It's cute, the frogs. Um, my grandson loves critters. You know, he loves digging up worms in the yard. This just reminds me of my grandkids. But this is just really, really an adorable book. Thank you, Renee. Yeah, and this is uh, Top Top Tales. Yeah, I haven't seen many of these. This is really cute. This would make a really cute little journal. So there's that one. And then there's City Boy, Country Boy. And this one is old. These pages are... Um, these part pages are a little bit brittle. This is a wonder book from 1963. So this one probably will make um, tags and things like that because these pages are brittle. Um, they're not as sturdy. They're nice pages, they're just older. And yeah, but really, really cute. Really, really cute little book. Look, he's out feeding the, feeding the animals. Look, with their little backpacks on and in school when they went back to school that's cute and then this is a real this is a really cool cover this is a unique book i'm not sure where she found this but this is pretty unique it's the the rooster who understood japanese <laughs> really really pretty book neat really neat illustrations um, so like for me, this would be, this would be really cool in a farm journal, you know, with grandma, um, feeding her homemade cookies and the rooster. And here she is with all the, um, eggs. Looks like eggs, yeah. Really cute. And the cover is really, the cover is really cool. This would make a really cool, um, journal. And then she sent me this little handmade flower, a little crochet doily. Uh, this is something that she got in Happy Mail and um, this is gonna be very special. This is gonna go in, if I ever work on my heritage journal, which I need to, y'all, I'm, I'm so bad. I have so many projects um, that I need to finish, but my mother loved daisies. And when she showed this in a Happy Mail, I was like, if you're willing to part with that, <laughs> And she sent it to me. She's so kind. I love it. And then she sent me four of these. They, they're like placemats, which are really cool. These are like applique. And this is embroidery. So those will be fun. There's another little flower. And then all these little um, applique flowers, which I love to use in embellishments some um some other little doilies that'll be fun it's really pretty with roses on it and then this one and then this beautiful this beautiful placemat this linen and then this beautiful little piece and that pretty that'd be pretty in um, some baby books make little pockets out of them. And then this, I could not believe she sent me this, y'all. I don't know if you, if any of you watched her um, Happy Mail. So someone sent her to this, sent this to her. Um, and I don't know if this is, is there such a thing as machine tatting, y'all? I guess there is. I don't know if this is hand done, but I told her, I'm, I told her in, when she showed it, that she should frame it. Well, that's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna eventually frame it and hang it in my craft room. It's just amazing. Look at all that. And I really, truly, I can't tell. It's super soft, but it's also like somebody, you know, whenever they finished it, they ironed it, you know, to, to get really, get it to flatten out. But I can't tell. Um, it's just gorgeous. Handmade or not, it's gorgeous. 
Then she sent me, um, this looks like a, a pillow cover of some kind, but I can um, definitely reuse this fabric, so I'll be cutting that up. That's really pretty. I love the blue. I love the, um, the dark blue background. You don't see that a whole lot. And then she tied all this up in another piece of um, fabric, gingham, like a gingham placemat. And look at all this stuff. All these little bits of things. These really cool little hand-painted buttons, which are like buckets of apples. <laughs> and then all these other pieces in here. Let me just pull this down. So, yeah, all these cards. These really cool um, playing cards. Look, it's a three. I didn't see this before. It's a three little pig, tiny little golden book. Huh, look at that. They're so cute. And then look, this photograph. So be great in a farm journal. Look at them with their, uh, that, is that their donkey? Look at those ears. <laughs> Some really neat um, pictures. Oh, these are like, these probably came out of those tra like travel books. It's a really neat really neat stuff and then um this is a piece of a needle book it's like a cover that she wrapped up Priscilla. oh and it's got see look it's got like the farm scene on it hold on hold on i'm, I'm losing it here i'm losing everything i got the all right i need to shift i need to throw all this stuff down in this basket get it off of here I can slide these things over. Let's see. Yeah, so it's a needlework cover, but it has that really cool, as we sow, so shall we reap. So that'd be cool. That would be cool to make a big tag um, pocket out of. Neat. Neat. And then all these little bits and pieces here. I did not open all this up. And I meant to get a tray or something. Which I need to do. I need to do that real quick so I can. Well, we'll do it like this. Try to be. Look. So there's a. There's a little strip of paper. That's a little paper ruffle. <laughs> Sewn paper ruffle. There's a, um, oh, that's a leather button on the safety pin, some thread, some really cool old beads. Look at all these little, look at the tiny, the tiny little safety pins with the little seed beads on them. Those are fun. Some more little seed beads, a little flower. A little sewing, old sewing bobbin. Uh, um, old needle threader. The little threader thing's not on there anymore, but cool. Another little safety pin. She just, she's really good at doing all these little, adding these little touches to her stuff too. Look at these buttons. These are cool. So those are buttons. Some of those really cool wood buttons. And, um, Oh, I like this button. I think um, I think she sent me one like that before I used it on a journal. There's a little bottle and a little clothespin. It's a bunch of fun little, a bunch of fun little bits and bobbles there. Put these down here, and then some scrap pieces, which I love. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This looks like it's from a um. Yeah, this, um, an old placemat. Looks like one of the old tablecloths. Really pretty. That'll be fun. And then all these other little bits that she tied up. Let's see. These little scrap, these little scrap bits, look. Yeah, so some more of this little... <laughs> Some more of this fabric that I have, I have some of them, but I'm working on some journals now so I can use, 
use all that I can get. And then some of this, another piece of this little fabric that's really cool. This is like a little cross stitch. <clears throat> Just little bits. These are fun. A yo-yo. Look, a little stitch. Did you stitch that, Renee? Cute. Just little pieces, little bits and pieces to use. Oh, I love this stuff. Um, this little tiny ribbon. Really neat. A doily. This really, this feels like silk, like a silk fabric. And this other little um, scrap. This is really pretty right here. I love this. Look at that little scrap. I love little bits and scraps. So all those little fun things. And then, let's see, there's two more little, there's two more little bits. We'll finish these pieces up and then I'll do that. So there's this really pretty yellow gingham um, placemat. It'd be very useful. I love gingham. I use it all the time. And then she sent me two <laughs> really large quilt pieces. Look at this, y'all. It's, it's really big. I can't spread it all out, but this is going to be fun. Isn't it pretty? I mean, I could literally make, um, I could make a couple of bags out of this, or I could use it for, I could use it for covers. Just really fun, fun. Very generous of you, Renee. Thank you, dear. <clears throat> and then there's these other, I think these are pillowcases. I remember correctly when I, yeah, these were two pillow shams um, that are quilted. Look at these, y'all. And they're so big. These will be fun. Yeah. This will be super fun. Awesome. So I don't even have to shop anymore, y'all. I have have so many of my friends and um, you guys are so generous to me that, you know, I really don't need to shop, but I have been doing some shopping. <laughs> I try not to, but I try to, I have bought some, a few things at a couple of live sales just to be, um, to be supportive, you know, of, of all of you guys and, and other, um, and other artists and makers. And, um, like I said, I did do a little bit of thrifting yesterday and it was just because I had extra time. So I thought I would check out this one shop I hadn't been to in quite some time because I'm never in that area anymore. I used to live there, but, um. And it goes for a good cause. Um, but anyway, so she sent me some thread. She knows I love polka dots, any kind of polka dots. So she sent me some, some and a little piece of um, blue um, eyelet, some little stamps. Wait, what's on that stamp? Okay. Looks like geese, ducks of some kind there. And then, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, look, look. Yep, this is definitely going in some journals I'm working on now, working on some farmhouse ones. Cute, love it. It's got the sunflowers and the cows, the barn, adorable. And then a little hanky, a vintage hanky. These are always fun. Just a plain hanky. Let's sit here. And she sent this little doll dress. Look at this, y'all. This little Barbie doll. Um, this is handmade, I can tell. My mother used to hand make um, or sew uh, my Barbie doll clothes. And I hate, y'all, I got rid of them. Um, years ago, I just thought, you know, I just, that, why am I saving this stuff? And, um, you know, you do that and then you kind of wish it hadn't, but it is what it is. And then there's another piece of this. I think she sent me some of this before. This really pretty, um, felt springy fabric. And some more cards. Look, a little pencil. <laughs> she sent me like a little game pencil and some twine. And uh, some more, look, that's Beatrice Potter card. Look, Hee Haw, I love it. Do y'all remember that show? Hee Hee, Hee Haw, Haw, Haw. 
you don't find these very often. And I tell you what, anything with Coca-Cola or Pepsi or anything like that on that's gotten pricey. Oh, look at the sunflowers. So these are all country, country scenes. Look, they're really cool. Love the sunflowers. End of the day. That's, that's old. That's an older card there. Those are really cool. And a little, um, a little journaling card with the flower pot. So cute. All kinds of cute stuff, Renee. And then, yeah, I could have untied this, but I'm not. Let's put all this over here. Um, some of these really cool inventory tags. These little yellow ones. And some other little bits of pieces. But with the little berries on it, so that'd be cool on a snippet roll. More flowers. Not, not pretty. Pretty little fabrics. Oh, this is like a ribbon. This would also be cool in a in a farmhouse country journal. That's a ribbon. That's cool. Oh look. Cage free brown eggs. That'd be cool in a cluster. And look. The little patch. This little patch with a donkey. A little bread, a stamp, and another little, a little image for a little country. Yeah, another little country image. Look, of the cows. So cute. Thank you, thank you, my sweet Renee. You are so good to me. I appreciate you so much. Um, you don't have to keep sending me stuff. <laughs> But I appreciate it. I really do. So then, I thought I would just do this in one video. Um, like I said, I had to pick my, I had to pick my granddaughter up yesterday after um, after my meeting, and my meeting got done two hours earlier than I had anticipated. And so I was like, okay, I can either drive, you know, half an hour to my favorite store. <laughs> and then drive half an hour back to pick her up um, and really get myself into trouble because I don't need to go out there because I don't need anything. And, um, or I can just go, I'll just go to the Goodwill and see if Goodwill has anything. Um, and then, um, you know, just go pick her up from there. Well, the Goodwill was kind of a, um, they didn't really have much there, but they did have, they did have some jewelry. So, um, I like looking at the old jewelry to see what, you know, what they have that I can salvage, you know, and maybe use for charms and things like that. So, they did have, um, these were like, I think $2 a piece, which to me is still getting a little ridiculous. I think we could do a dollar, you know, even for the Goodwill, but that's just because I'm cheap <laughs> when it comes to stuff like this. But but really, for $2, this is a lot of chain, and I can take this apart, and I can make a lot of charms out of this. You know? So, it's kind of cool. It's kind of that gun metal. It's uh, got some weight to it. Um, pretty easy, you know, pretty easy to take apart. So, there's a smaller piece here. You know, I could probably do a long charm out of that. And, but there's a ton of it that I could... Um, take apart and make other charms with. So I got that. And then these are some really nice um, heavy beads, uh, metallic beads. And then it's got the little black seed bead in the middle. So these would definitely, um, these are nice beads. So, you know, for $2, I mean, beads are getting expensive, y'all. So I really do like to try to salvage stuff. So I'll take those apart and put them in my bead collection. And then there was this bracelet. I thought, I really like these green beads. Um, there's two strands of them, and I can repurpose those for charms. So I picked those up. And then um, this necklace I thought was really cool because there's some really neat things. It's like a charm. So it's already a charm on here. So I could either just use that, or I could take these individual pieces off, you know, and make other charms out of it. And I would still have this piece of chain to repurpose into another charm, okay? And then there's these beads that I could use um, 
probably wouldn't use any of this cording that was left by the time I took it apart. But I just thought it was kind of neat. There's some neat little pieces there. You know. Some of these were a dollar. Some of these were a dollar or a dollar fifty. Something like that, too. They weren't all two dollars. That chain was. And then this, um, I was looking at and I broke it. <laughs> And I didn't mean to break it. And I told the girl, I said, well, I'll just buy it. But the one reason why, I said, I was probably going to get it anyway. And and I can use the little orange bead. I can use all the little beads that are in here, too. I'm not going to drag these out because I, I don't have um, I don't have a thing on my table. I meant to get a tray and I forgot. But one of the main reasons why I was looking at this is because it had these little... Um, have these little charms on it and I've I've been gathering stuff I do want to make some more I want to finish the readers that I've been working on that I started over a year ago but then I want to do I have a couple of little um, the kids books the children's books about school and I kind of wanted to do um, a couple of school theme books for the fall and these little charms were on this bracelet. So it's two little school buses and there's two little apples and then there's this little A. And I thought they were adorable. So that's why I bought that. Well, that and I broke it, which she told me I didn't have to buy it, but I did. So I got those at the Goodwill. And then I went over to um, another thrift store and this particular thrift store um, is geared towards helping battered women. So, um, and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the store now, but um, I'll try to, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box. If any of you have any of these stores near you, you might want to check them out. It really does go for a good cause. So they had this, and like I said, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. Um, I was just looking, walking around to see what they had. I know that they, they've always had really good prices on their books, um, but they have a lot more stuff in there now. So um, I was pretty excited. So um, <clears throat> I found this this sort of natural um, hemp cord, okay? And I don't believe she even charged me 50 cent for it, but I picked that up because I can always use that. And then these patterns, y'all, were like 10 cent. And I've never found I have never found a vintage Halloween pattern. So this had to come home with me. <laughs> so I got that. And I don't know, I don't know what year. I think some of these they put the year on and some of them, some of the patterns put the years on them and some of them don't. And um, this is 1965, 1965. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So, I was surprised to find these. This one, um, 10 cent. And I don't know what year this is either, but. This one's a little more tattered, but I just really, I really liked, I really liked the, um, the images on this one. And then this one I thought was really cool. This one's probably, I'm sure this is from the 70s. So, but for. Yeah, nineteen seven. This is nineteen seventy two. So, for that price, and really, they didn't have a ton of. Most of them were newer. Um, I found a few old ones. I left a couple um, because I'm like, okay, I really don't need. I really don't need patterns, but those I couldn't pass up. And then they had pillowcases. So I'm not gonna pull this all out, but um, I thought this would be absolutely adorable for a for a boy journal. And then these were definitely a find. Um, there were two of these, and these are hand embroidered on a um, light light linen, okay? But it's big, look. It's like, see that? So I could literally take, I could use like this piece, and this piece, and this piece, and this, so it's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's like eight little sets of flowers that go all the way around this oval, and I found two of them. Okay. There was two of them. Now, I almost debated using them on my bed, but I don't really have pink in my bedroom, and that's not really what I bought them for, but um, anyway. 
And this this one is the this one is yellowed, like in the middle here. It's got a lot of yellowing right here. You can't really see that. So I'm gonna wash them up, but I'm definitely they'll definitely get cut up. And in my craft room, they're gonna get cut up. <laughs> so so that and that and these patterns. And then their books are like five for a dollar. So um I found this one. And, and this is an older book. Um, I've never seen this book before. So this was like, I think it was the 80s. No, 19, 1978. But it's really cool. Like it's got all these different types of crafts and decorations in it. And the pages aren't, um, they're sort of flat. They're not, um, they're not glossy, but they're not matte, matte. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what kind of paper, but really cool stuff in here um, that I thought I could use in journals, you know, to make envelopes or make some tags and things like that out of some of this fun stuff. I'm gonna look through this pretty good first before I take it apart. But one of the reasons why I got it was because I really like this cover. I love this green cover. And for the price of it, because I really, honestly, I don't need books. I do not need books. But for these prices, yeah. And then I found um, these two. So my Good Night book, which is the hardcover book. Um, can't ever pass up Eloise Wilkins. And I've, I've had um, this particular book before that somebody um, gifted me that I ended up cutting them for tags. And I don't know, I may do that again, or I may actually make just a little journal out of it. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then Richard Scary's Naughty Bunny. And now this book's coming apart. So this one will definitely get used for pages or cutouts, fussy cut, um, really cute little book. So, and then this one I've never seen. So Knit and Stretch Fabric. It's Easy Here's How by Kirsten Martinson. And this is from 1968, okay? And you can see it's stapled in here, but these pages, y'all, look at look at the pages in this book. The, um, the natural patina around the pages. This is that nice thick matte paper. And then throughout it, it has these little personal notes for, you know, whoever was sewing or was gonna use this, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then there's there's also, you know, that blank page on the back of a lot of these. But then there's also these really cool black and white um, sketched images throughout. So there's the man in the sweater, look. Isn't that cool? And, um, there's a younger girl with the sweater. There's the little kids with the little sweater. So these would be fun to fussy cut out and uh, make tags out of. This lady reminds me of my mama. That was kind of her look back in the day. It really reminds me of my mama. Yeah, and then here's these. I just thought this was a really neat book. I've never seen it in all the sewing stuff that I've seen. And then there's all these really cool, like, sketches in here, too. So this was really neat. But the best part of this little haul right here for these four books, see, these are my kind of deals. So for these four books, okay, these three pillowcases, three patterns, and this, I paid $4.54. <laughs> so that's why these things did not stay in the store okay I mean when you find if I'd have gone to my favorite store and I'm not knocking them because I shopped there I haven't been there in almost a year now I haven't shopped there in almost a year and I'm really trying to stay away from there because I don't need anything um, but like some of these things in here would have been you know a couple of several books a piece you know so um yeah, $4.54. So I had to share those things with y'all because that was just a steal. But anyway, so that's enough of my ramblings for today. So thank you again, Renee, my sweet, sweet friend. I love you dearly. 
Um, I appreciate you so much. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my little, um, my little thrift haul and my happy mail. And I will see you guys soon. I'm not sure what's coming up next. I do have to do the, um, well, I don't have to do it. I'm excited about doing the hashtag give a scrap challenge. So that video will post on the 25th. I'm still, um, I'm still working out what I want to do. I've got a couple of ideas. Um, I'm going to, I, I want to do something different than what everybody else is doing, but it's going to be really hard because, <laughs> you know, um, but there's a ton of ways we can use our scraps, scrap fabric, scrap paper, all that, but, um, still working on some ideas in my head. So anyway, still working that out, but y'all probably see something else from me before then. I am working on some farmhouse journals. Um, I've got two kids books, a couple of fabric covers, um, that will be journals. And then one cookbook right now that I've pulled all the products for, um, pulled all the supplies and stuff that, uh, I'm trying to get those done. Um, well, I'm working on them. Anyhow, hope y'all are having a great day and I will see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.